Khan Academy Algebraic Thinking, we are working on the subtopic, Translate Expressions with Parentheses. Which expression is three times as large as the expression 610 minus 97? So we know we need 610 minus 97. So when I look at my three choices, they all have 610 minus 97. Okay. But I also see that I need three times as large. So three times as large, I'm going to need that multiplication. This one has multiplication. This one has multiplication. I'm sorry, this one has addition. And this one has multiplication. So B is not going to work because this would be three more than that than the, the answer to this. So three times means I know I'm going to need A or C. Now, the only thing that we have to remember here is that it asked as large as the expression 610 minus 97. So we are going to want 610 minus 97 in parentheses. If we used letter C, remember, if we solved this correctly, we would actually do 3 times 610, and then we would subtract 97. So there, we're not going to get the answer. We're not going to get the expression that they're looking for. So A is our correct answer. The expression 610 minus 97, three times as large as that. Which expression represents 87 less than the product of 12 and 15? So again, a lot of this ends up being a vocabulary thing. Okay, so when I'm looking at 87 less, it means I'm going to need to take away 87. Okay. And then when I'm looking at the product of 12 and 15, product is multiplying 12 and 15. Product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So I need something with a 12 in, times a 15. So if this is 15, take away 12. So A is not going to work. 12 times 15, 12 times 15. So B and C are both definitely options. Now what this one says is which expression represents 87 less than the product. So that means find the product and take away 87. Well, B is going to be our best choice. This is finding the product and then taking away 87. Okay, even though our numbers are the same here, okay, this would be 87 and then taking away the product. It doesn't say taking away the product of it. It wants 87 less than that. So that's where our B answer comes in. Which expression is half as large as the expression 345 plus 23? Okay, so 345 plus 23, I can see right now that A is going to be an option. B is not because they're not even, we're not even doing 345 plus 23. And I can see C is going to be an option. Okay, so which expression is half as large? Okay, so as the expression. So they're wanting us to solve the expression and then take whatever answer we get and divide it by two. So C is going to be our choice here. Again, it gets tricky because A up here does have divided by two in it, but this would actually mean that we have to do two divided by whatever we get as that answer. Okay, this is taking it, this answer, and dividing it by two, dividing that in half. Which expression represents 22 more than the difference between 95 and 63? Difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So again, a vocabulary thing right there. So 95 take away 63. So I've got 95 take away 63. Okay, here I've got addition, so I'm not going to use that. And then here I don't have 95 take away 63. I have 95 plus 22. So right now it's looking like a is going to be our best choice. Okay, so let's just double check. The difference between 95 and 63 and then 22 more than that means I'm going to add 22 to my answer. 